Today in class, you are continuing with Module 3. This is Module 3 here. It doesn't say that. Module 3, Lesson 12. And in this lesson, you're going to be subtracting fractions that are greater than or equal to 1. And you can do this in two different ways. First, you could just find the common denominator and then solve it. But be careful you don't forget the whole number. Um, the tricky thing with this process is many times you're going to have to borrow. So you have to really be cognizant of that whole number and don't forget it. Your other option would be to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction and then solve, which is typically what I like to do, although you'll have big numbers. So let's try a couple together. So this equation reads 1 in 3 fourths minus 6 sevenths. Now, just as we did yesterday with addition, when you're solving um, an equation with fractions, I like to rewrite this vertically. So I have 1 and 3 fourths minus 6 sevenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to an improper fraction and then solve. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So now I have 7 fourths minus 6 sevenths. So I need to find a common denominator between 4 and 7. So I have 4 and I have 7. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 28, but let's just see. 4, 8, 12, let me just say 7, 14, 12, 16, 20. It's going to be 28. 24, 20, yeah, 28 is going to be my common denominator. How do you go from 4 to 28? Well, I multiply by 7. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 7 times 7 is 49. How do you get from 7 to 28? Well, I multiply by 4. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, as I was saying, you are subtracting. So 49 minus 24 be 5. 25 over 28. And that cannot be reduced any further, so that's what I get for my answer, 25 28 Now, let's try it where we just solve it. So this time we're going to just solve it. So I set up the example 1 and 3 fourths minus 6 sevenths. And we know that our common denominator is 28. And if you notice, I carried the 1 over already, because otherwise I feel like we tend to forget about it. And this will be 28. So 4 goes into 28 7 times. Whatever do the top, do to the bottom. 7 times 3 is 21. This we're going to multiply by 4 fourths. 6 times 4 is 24. Now, here's where they always try and trick you. I have 1 and 21 over 28 minus 24 over 28. Can you do 21 minus 24? No, you can't. So let's just make it a slightly different color. Let's go a little bit darker. What do we have to do? We have to borrow from our 1. So our 1 becomes a 0, and I'm going to add 28, 28s to it. So now I'm working with 49 over 28 minus 24 over 28. And let's just review that. This 1 is the same thing as my denominator, 28 over 28. So I have to add that in. 28 plus 21 gives me the 49. Okay? Now I can subtract. 49 minus 24 is 25 over 28. Same answer as before, different process to solve. Now I'll just go over this first slide that is on um, active, and it's 1 and 1 fifth minus 1 half. So let's convert to an improper fraction first. I get 6 fifths minus one half. Do you all see how I got six fifths? Five times one is five. Five plus one is six. Okay. So I need to come up with my common denominator, which would be ten. To get from five to ten, I multiply by two. Twelve times six times two is twelve. To get from two to ten, I multiply by five fifths. Now this one's straightforward. Twelve minus five I get 7 tenths as an answer. Okay, 7 tenths as an answer. Let's see if I can give myself enough room to try it now the other way. 
So I have 1 and 1 fifth minus 1 half. Now we just want to solve it. So I'm going to find my common denominator, and don't forget this whole number. Okay, so we know it's going to be 10. So I have 1 and 2 tenths minus 5 tenths. Can you do 2 tenths minus 5 tenths? No, you can't. So you have to cross out your 0, and what are you going to add to this? 10 tenths. So now I have, what is? what do I have? I have 12 tenths minus 5 tenths. And again, I get an answer of 7 tenths. Now it's your turn.